These are the people who shake up the town of Denver. These are Vista's movers and shakers. Hello, I'm Stephanie Riggs, and welcome to another edition of Vista TV Denver. Today's mover and shaker is Denver's newest heartthrob. I mean quarterback for the Denver Broncos. <laughs> welcome, Brady Quinn. Thanks for having me, Stephanie. I almost feel like I have to qualify it because I've lost count how many quarterbacks there are with the Denver Broncos now. Uh, no, no, <laughs> I, 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 know, I know them all very well. We work hard and we put in long hours, so uh, we see probably too much of each other. Now, Mr. Quinn, is that a little uh, unusual situation for you? Uh, no, actually, it's the exact same situation I came into when I was drafted uh, to Cleveland. So there were four quarterbacks then, and even last year we had four quarterbacks on the roster going into camp. What's up with that? you got to have a lot of guys who can throw the ball. You know, it's, uh, it's a crazy league. A lot of injuries happen, those sorts of things. Uh, and, you know, you got to have some guys on the roster ready to play. Now, what's your strategy to stand out? You don't get a lot of play time you know, to show your wares. How does that work? Well, again, you just got to make the best with kind of what you're given and uh, kind of do something that stands out, I guess. Josh McDaniels is said to have a pretty creative offensive mind. Is it refreshing to play for him? Oh, without a doubt. Uh, I think when you get into practice and, and then when you get into meetings, you see the wealth of knowledge that he has for the game, and uh, he makes things fun very live and uh, he's very jubilant. Do you feel like you've been given a second chance? Uh, I think so. Um, I don't like to look at it that way because I think my first three years in Cleveland definitely taught me some life lessons, uh, things you know, even outside of football. So uh, I was very thankful for the opportunity to you know, play in Cleveland, but this is definitely a fresh start and a new start for me. Let's talk about that because there are young boys watching you right now that maybe going through some life lessons, character development, yeah. yuck, yuck, but actually there's a lot to learn in the hard times, probably more than the good times, right? Yeah, actually I think uh, when I look back on my life, uh, the times that were hardest for me were the times that I really feel as if I uh, you know, developed more character and became more of a man and who I am today. Uh, so, you know, even though things didn't go well in Cleveland, I was presented with a lot of different opportunities to, you know, uh, help work on my character and build myself up. And, and, and if, if not for my faith, I don't think I would have been able to handle those things. What do you mean? Uh, you know, I, obviously I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And, uh, you know, I think based upon, you know, His Word, the Bible, uh, you know, I was able to, you know, find confidence in knowing that God has a plan for me, whether it's in Cleveland, here in Denver, or anywhere else. What would you do if you weren't a quarterback? That's so tough. That's such a loaded question. I mean, I'm, I'd like to think I'm a pretty good athlete, so it'd either be like, you know, baseball or basketball or something else. Are you that good at baseball that you could cross over? I feel like I am. You're kidding me. So <laughs> what did you play when you were growing up? Uh, I, I pitched, I caught, and, uh, you know, I played a little bit of outfield here and there. And where uh, did you grow up? I grew up in Dublin, Ohio. Okay. So you had a sport family? I did. I did. Actually, uh, my older sister played, uh, you know, softball and soccer growing up, and then more into field hockey when she got in high school. And uh, my little sister was, uh, we call her the best athlete in the family. She was uh, a little soccer player, went and played at Virginia, and uh, she was, you know, tremendous in high school and, and, and into college as well. So when did football ignite then in your life? Uh, you know, it's funny. Really, it was, I mean, I loved playing the game all my life, but, uh, you know, in my sophomore year, we had won states in baseball, and I was kind of thinking, well, you know, I'll keep playing baseball, see where this goes. And uh, that next uh, junior year of high school football, um, we went to the state semis, we lost, but it was the furthest our school had ever been. So, uh, you know, we started getting some scholarship offers and so forth, and I kind of started to realize that was probably where my ticket was. You know, and every little boy dreams who's playing football, I'd love to be a quarterback for the Denver Broncos. But it's not playing football, it sounds like it's working football. I mean, you have to work so hard. I talked to you last night, you called and I said, are you excited to do the interview? And you said, I still have to get through a practice before I see you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that makes it sound like it's, uh, you know, drudgery, but it, it, you know, it's not that. Uh, I love what I do and I think when you're passionate about, um, but, you know, what you do as a career and everything, uh, it makes things easier. Uh, but we definitely do put in a lot of long hours and you don't get as much sleep as you're used to. So what's a typical day like for you? Uh, you know, you probably wake up around 5.15, 5.30. Uh, for me, you know, I'll make breakfast, you know, walk my dog, then try to get into the facility somewhere around 6.15, 6.30. Uh, I work out, uh, then we'll have meetings starting around anywhere from 7.30 to 8. Uh, you know, those last till, uh, up till practice, which usually ends around 1. 
Um, and then you'll have meetings afterwards and, and lifting or rehab and all sorts of different things afterwards. So, uh, you know, right now I usually don't get out of there until around 5, 6 o'clock. And you said you have to go back after this interview tonight and do more work. Yeah, sometimes I'll go back uh, later on at night, um, try to catch up on an hour of film or so and, and kind of get some stuff that we're maybe putting in for the next day. Okay, so let's ask you some questions. Um, what's your favorite music? Favorite music? That's tough. Uh, I listen to a mix of things. Uh, you know, some Christian rock, some country, some uh, 80s rock bands and classical rock, so I'm kind of all over the place. Okay, your favorite book? Favorite book? Well, I, I read the Bible every day, so that would probably suffice. Um, I also love The Shack. Uh, Man's, Search for, for, Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl uh, is a great book, and uh, I'd recommend it to any guys out there who are looking for a perspective in life. Okay, your favorite movie? Favorite movie? Oof. I, mean, I probably have to say Rudy because I went to Notre Dame, right? Um, I don't think that'd be my favorite, but uh, I don't know. Step Brothers was hilarious. That's the only thing that comes to mind right now. Okay. Uh, favorite vacation spot? Uh, I have a house in Florida, and that's where I like to spend you know a lot of my vacation time. So definitely. Down okay. There. A food you could eat every single day? Definitely a burrito from Chipotle. I think I did that for. Are you kidding me? I mean, I used to. I when I first got drafted, when I was in Cleveland. I was in a hotel for like four months, and I pretty much ate a burrito every single day. Did you mix it up a little bit, or was it the same one? <sighs> I'm kind of a simpleton. Was it like the Groundhog Day? Just <laughs> <laughs> it's the same one, but it just got better and better, <laughs> you know? So I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Okay, if you could describe yourself in one word. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, goofy sometimes, definitely. Favorite TV show? Right now, uh, can I give it a tie? Probably between uh, The Office and uh, Modern Family. So, Brady, how do you think the 2010 season's going to go? <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's early right now. You know, we're definitely uh, practicing a lot, working hard, you know, just trying to, you know, work on, work on some things and fix some things that, um, you know, looking back at last year, you know, we felt like we could have done better. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I think it should be a good one for us. You know, we, there's definitely a ton of talent on this team. And there's, uh, you know, some guys with a lot of, a lot of character and who like to work hard. And uh, if we can find a way of putting it all together, it should be a good season for us. And from what I've read, they're all saying that if you hit it, Denver wins big. <laughs> I hope so. Um, I mean, that's definitely, that's definitely how I feel. So We can count on one thing. I'll be praying for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks, Brady. Thank you.